Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and regular viewers of this channel knows that here on XPS Tech, we are a big fan of Dipin OS and almost every release of Dipin gets a new video. So following the rituals, uh, today's video is about the latest release of Dipin, which is version number 15.7 which though has brought important updates and improvements to the distribution but the release has been anything but smooth there have been two back-to-back -back updates within the first 10 days of the release and it seems that this time the release has been a little rushed without time for sufficient testing but these things do happen in tech business especially when you're bringing so many changes and updating so rapidly and in a way pushing the boundaries of development of linux based desktop operating system uh, we have seen other distros like Manjaro also going through similar issues in the past. So these issues can be ignored and let's hope the team have learned lessons from all this. So with that out of the way, let's check out what's new with Dipin 15.7. All right, first of all, from this release onward, Dipin has adopted a new numbering system for all its releases. So now the release will have version number in x.y.z format where X is the main version number which denotes the year of development or initial release. So the current version is being maintained since 2015, hence 15 is the main version number. Y is the subversion which is released every three months and Z or Z is a minor version number if there's any important system updates within the three months period between two Y releases. But the important thing here is that now all even Y release will have more feature updates whereas the odd Y release will focus on system optimization and overall stability. So this way Dipin has made its update strategy more streamlined. So going by that format now you know what to expect from this current release which is version number 15.7. This time the emphasis has been on the overall optimization of the system. So let's check out those improvements. All right, first, there's a considerable reduction in the size of installation images. Now the ISO size of Dipin 15.7 is 2.5 gigs against 3.1 gigs that we had in Dipin 15.6. This is done by removing some of the apps that was pre-installed in 15.6. These apps include Spotify, Steam, Dipin Clone, Dipin Bootmaker, Skype, etc. Which is now not available by default in 15.7. But these apps can be installed later from the Dipin store and this is a welcome change. Alright, next after downloading the ISO, the installation process remains the same except for one new option that you get during the installation process which is called full disk install. Now this option will automatically partition your selected drive into three different partition swap, home and data partition. The size of each partition depends on the total available disk space. Alright next the new release is now significantly lighter on memory. Uh, the distro now uses almost 24% less memory which is a huge improvement to the operating system. In the past, we all know Dipin has been infamous for being one of the most resource-hungry Linux distribution. So it's good that the team has now improved upon this issue and for this reason alone, I think it is worth upgrading to the current release. All right, next, there's also improvement on the power consumption for laptops. Now a new power saving option is introduced, which can be activated from the control center. Uh, when turned on, this will increase the standby time of laptop while on battery power. There's also an auto mode switch option which automatically puts your laptop on power saving mode when running on battery. Dipin claims there's a 20% increase in standby time which is really impressive. I have not thoroughly tested it yet so I reserve my opinion on this but I'll post the result of uh, my testing on this channel so be sure to subscribe to XPS Tech channel. Alright, apart from these important changes, there have been lots of subtle optimization and tweaks to the OS that makes the overall operating system much more stable now. There's a new change in the layout of launcher which gets a new app category menu which we have usually seen in the expanded launcher mode. One huge change is the support for NVIDIA Prime graphic cards which enable the operating system to take full advantage of hybrid graphic cards. Apart from that, there have been minor changes to the login window animation, workspace animation. For a complete list of changes, you can check out the release note page on Dipin website. 
but uh, with dip in 15.7 two of the most important factors of any operating system memory and power has been significantly improved this time therefore i hugely recommend you update the operating system all right now before wrapping up this video abid ali one of the subscribers of xps tech channel and regular viewers of my video wanted me to talk about the slow speed of dip in mirrors so let's quickly address this issue now uh, Dipin is infamous for the slow speed of its mirrors and the issue has been sort of a permanent issue with Dipin. The official mirrors are in fact really slow. Now there are two things uh, that you can do to resolve this. The first is pretty simple. You can go to control center and then go to updates. So currently we are on the official mirror. Here at the top you can click on test speed. This will ping each repo that are listed here and then show you the speed of each repo. If you find any repo with medium or fast mentioned against it, you can select that and hopefully that should switch you to the fastest mirror available. Now the second method is little advanced. Um, so in this method, we use the net select tool to get the fastest mirror of Dipin. Now this tool comes pre-installed in Dipin. First, we need to get list of all available repos of Dipin. This we can extract from the Dipin mirror page. So go to the mirror page and then right click and choose view source now save this html file now to extract the url of dip in mirrors from this html i use this grep command don't worry i'll put this command in the description of this video but if you want to know all about grep you can watch this complete guide to grep that i made a while ago now once you run this command you get list of all the urls that contains the word mirror now here you can see that these two are not in fact mirrors and we can delete that but they are not going to do any real harm so let's not bother about them now the input for net select is url which are enclosed in single quote and have a blank space between each url so to get that we use this said command this will also be available in the description now let's copy the result you can also save it to a text file if you want now let's give this as input to net select tool so let's type net select dash v for verbose dash t50 space and then paste all the url of dip in mirrors and press enter now this is going to take a few seconds and once it's done here you can see that against each url you get approximate ping time number of network hops percentage of ping requests that successfully got through and the last line here shows the server with the best score now once we get the fastest mirror we need to then edit the sources.list file which is under slash etc slash apt. Now here comment the current active mirror and then paste the entire line above it and then replace this default mirror with the mirror that we got using the net select command. Then save it and close the file and now run apt update command. Now this will switch your operating system to the fastest mirror and I'm sure this will resolve the slow mirror issue. But remember this URL may not always be the fastest mirror and it may get slower in future. So you may have to redo this all again. So that was how you can solve the slow mirror issue of Dipin. And thanks Abid for posting this issue and for all your lovely comments. All right, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do type that in in the comment box. And a huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. I thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.